What's happening, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of the Games and Grants podcast. My name is Sun G, and I'm here as always with Finn Steele. Hello. And Steve. Good evening. And we're back. We're back. Officially, we're back. We are back. We're back once again. We're back. Back once again is the Renegade Masters. Hell yeah. Deep more damage oh, to the yeah. people. <laughs> Back once again. It's the Games and Graps Masters. That's us. <laughs> That's Team what genius. it is. <laughs> yeah, man, it's good to be back. Um, yeah, we told is. you this wasn't going to be forever. We weren't going to be going away forever because that'd be stupid. Yeah. We'll never leave it. Mm-hmm. We're here forever. For you motherfuckers who unfollowed us on Twitter, Walsh, I'm looking at you. <laughs> what, what's going on that? Gosh. Walsh, I'm Trace. looking at you. I saw Tracy, it. Wow. Jumping up like, your deck gaming. Go on. It's Didn't okay. I forgive you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, so we go away. Our, our Twitter goes radio silent. No tweets being sent. <laughs> and then you wouldn't follow us. Okay. It's fine. Look, it's fine. We forgive you. We're back now. Okay. <laughs> We're back everywhere and it's all good. You know what? I saw that notification on my phone. Actually, I said, Chris wasn't following us. That's weird. Yeah. Now I know why. So now Steve wasn't following us either. Oh, yeah. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. It's like we've there finished we the podcast. He's, oh, he's dead to me now. That's it. <laughs> it's over. Dead. They're dead. Done. They're dead. To done me. with it. Done. Yeah. God damn. But it's okay though. We are back. So yes. we're going to be doing this once a month, um, and we're going to be doing like pre-shows and all that sort of stuff as well. Um, but we've, you might notice that we've done a little bit of rebranding. So we're now Team Games and Graph Studios. So Ooh, I do a yeah. podcast weekly called Clubhouse. Um, that's you know going to be a G and G Studios podcast. Steve's going to look at doing some stuff um, down the line. Um, yep. Finn is going to be doing some streaming and stuff like that. But basically, the stuff that the three of us do is going to come under this banner, Games and Graph Studios. So regardless of where it is, we're still Team Games and Graphs because that's what makes the most sense. Together, we're better. Yes, we are one. We are one. We are the ones. Yes, the ones. The Oops. ones. The ones. We're Ooses. <laughs> We're the ones. Who's from the Finn. Hello. <laughs> um, how's non-working life? Because uh, you're pretty- officially a bum now. I am. I quit. I'm uh, unemployed. <laughs> I'm uh, a scrounger. A scrounger. <laughs> yeah. Level up programs. No, <laughs> it's been great. I'm, it's much needed. Um, yeah, work was getting to me. I had a state at work and I was just constantly pissed off the entire time. That's not a healthy way to be. No, I've been working no, with retail not. for 10 long years. I was like, okay, I need to change. You know, I'm in a fortunate position where I've got, you know, a little bit of money saved up. I can go a little while without, you know, Balling. working out. <laughs> Balling, yeah. I'm, I'm basically risk I'm living off, you know, off my YouTube money that I'm definitely making. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but no it's it's been good i've been chilling out and then next week i'm gonna be starting like twitch and youtube proper there we go you see all we needed was just a little spark just to get us going again yeah mm-hmm. but no it's been great catching up games. I, yeah I, actually... I mean i missed you guys to be fair that's why you know i like doing i enjoy doing my podcast but i talk about the stuff that i do like yeah. outside mm. of real life so um, it's good to come here and, you know, talk with you guys about stupid stuff. That's yeah, what I'm like, all about. Stupid yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah I'll be just That's what we're all about. Definitely. That's We've got definitely a lot to talk about. about. A lot has happened since we last, uh, last spoke. Oh, Jesus, just a touch. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll get into it. We will. <laughs> I, mean, <there's, laughs> I mean, there's a dirty old man out there. <laughs> He's dirty. He's a dirty old man. <laughs> Filth. And he's jumping off stairs and he's jumping into bed with women that he's got no business jumping into bed with. <laughs> Dear me. Would you have this podcast any other way? No, no of, course of course not. not. Absolutely. Absolutely not. Anyway. Steve, how's fishing? Great. I love it. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. It's just relaxing. 
you know, I've, I've got a fairly stressful job. It's not like, you know, sending me to the edge or anything. But some I'm just, on the uh, edge <laughs> of <working>. fishing. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, no, it's just it's just nice. It's relaxing, and I'm I'm glad I got back into it. And uh, costing me a fortune, mine. But there we go. It's mm. uh, it's just nice, nice and relaxing. No what kind of bait do you get? Uh, I mainly use pellets. Not master. Um, I can say the same thing. Master. To... <laughs> yeah. No, you don't use master bait. No, no, I don't use master baits. No. No, 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 you get um, you get arrested, you get arrested, for things like that. You can't use masturbate by a lake or wherever you, you can't, fish. you can't, you can't masturbate at uh, at your peg. No, you can't, it's, it's, um, it's so frowned upon, but you, but you can do pegging, you can do pegging, yeah, yeah, you can do loads of pegging. Okay, good, that's good, that's good. <laughs> I realised this think... earlier that fishing fishing is just full of innuendos, mm. you know, like <laughs> rod and length and stuff like that. It's just, you have a big rod? It is I mean, we might as well get it all big, out yeah. while, while we're here. Yeah, fair, fair, well, I've got various various uh, size rods. Oh, um, okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it's all good. Okay, you're using the wrong kind of bait, but it, it is what it is. Look, you use your own, use whatever bait makes you. I'm catching, you know, I'm catch catching fish but... better. I'll try when I go in a couple of weeks. I will try uh, some master baits. Okay, uh, so that means I'll, in a couple, of, the next podcast will be just me and Finn because Steve will be arrested. <laughs> we'll put his mug <laughs> shot up in the bottom corner in the bottom instead. <laughs> Local man caught wanking at fishing lake. <laughs> there, Leicestershire well, um, live, Hinkley Times. We'll do we'll do the podcast, and you can like be live from prison. This is a collect call from Steve. Like Netflix documentaries. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, like Joe Exotic. <laughs> Steve I'll just be Exotic. there right up to the right up to the camera, like Joe Exotic with my hair, just yeah. like that. Yeah. What, what the fuck was he doing? <laughs> they won't let me out. Trump's gonna pardon me. <laughs> Didn't happen, did it? Yeah. I'm broke as shit. <laughs> I'm broke as shit. <laughs> See, I, you wouldn't have seen it because you wouldn't followed us on Twitter, but that's okay. Um, but I changed, I changed our bio, and um, it's, it talked about us doing this podcast monthly, and it said Finn's doing mm -hmm. streaming stuff, and Steve is fishing. Does it? Is that what it says? It doesn't now, but it did do. Yeah. Oh, it did. Okay. Yeah. That's that's where the fishing question accurate. came in. I mean, it's fairly accurate. Mm. It's fairly accurate. We're all about accuracy here. You know this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Only, only the truth. Only the truth. Yeah, only nothing but straight, nothing but straight facts on the Games of Grass podcast. Yeah, no exaggerations, no innuendos. No, 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 no. Just I mean, that would be ridiculous. We're a serious broadcasting. <laughs> we're, we're serious. I can't even say it without laughing. <laughs> We're a uh, serious video game and wrestling news reporting uh, mm. podcast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. We That's are. us. Um, yeah. All right. Let, you know, let's get into it. Let's get into it the way that we always do. <coughs> hey. COVID. COVID. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, remember that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember Bandy, COVID? Bandy, yeah. Apparently, Bandy, you can't <laughs> say things like COVID on YouTube or you get some sort of flagged. Oh really? Oh, I think they dropped. I think they dropped that a while ago. Oh, okay, that's good. What was that? For? Yeah, initial like, it, 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 or? Yeah, I think so. Oh. At the start, yeah. you weren't allowed to allowed to say it. Yeah, it's Jesus. weird. Very strange. Oh my God, he said COVID. He, <laughs> must, he must not believe it's real. Next, he'll be talking about chemtrails. <laughs> Oh fucking god. unbelievable chemtrails was trending on twitter the other day and oh my god if you need something to like perk up your day if you're having a shit morning just search <laughs> hashtag chemtrails on twitter and just look at the fucking lunatics that are tweeting about chemtrails yeah. the government are poisoning us again yeah <laughs> this is where we discovered oh, that finn yeah. is believed fully fully believes that chemtrails have been 
that the government's oh, yeah. coming to get us. Oh, no, no, no Finns are... Yeah, yeah, you know. I was going to say Finns are flat earther. Yeah, birds aren't real. Birds are just government drones, clearly. Yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. I mean, we knew that. Chemtrails, <laughs> you know, that's bullshit, but birds are definitely not real. No. That ridiculous. much I can confirm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Space is that confirmation. Real. Space space isn't real is the one. Oh my god. Yeah, that's true. Space, space isn't real. That that's a Moon. that's a thing. And those people Moon, just... Moon is just a projection in the sky. Oh, yeah, well, you mean like real. one of them lights that you can buy from uh, like B and M or something, where you flick the bottom and then you get the, the galaxy yeah. on your fucking Ooh. on your ceiling. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. The, the space mm. is all just one giant light, like clickby light projection. Ah, uh, got it. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. It makes yeah, all these things make sense. Chemtrails, uh, the, yeah. the yeah, the the light. We uh, we ought to get Darren on. He loves a good conspiracy. Oh, he does Captain love a conspiracy. conspiracy. Oh, Captain Conspiracy, yeah. It's, although to be honest, he's too busy fucking skinny dipping with the Loch Ness monster yeah. in Lake Kendall or whatever he's doing, and uh, oh. climbing mountains with Bear Grylls. <laughs> yeah, and and not cooking. Not definitely not cooking. Jesus, no. multi millionaire. I know he's doing doing a doing a tour of the uh, best restaurants in Northwest. Ginger haired bikers, ginger haired <laughs> skinny dippers, going up to mountain, eat some exotic goat's cheese wrap, <laughs> and a chi latte. Chi. <laughs> <laughs> <Chee. laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, he's gonna love that we're talking about him again on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, we'll just we'll message him later and just go. Um, yeah, listen to the pod from about eleven minutes on. Yeah, and then he'll just turn it off. Yeah, he probably does. Yeah, so that's probably what happens anyway. Anyway, Finn. Hello. What have you been playing in this long length of time? Long length, long oh. period of time since we last did this podcast. I'm playing a lot. Uh, so right now, I'm playing. I'm back on Elden Ring. Every time I think I'm close to the end, the map doubles in size. So that's fun. <laughs> have you not finished it? No, I, I went away for a while and finished off some like backlog stuff. I'll finish games. Now I'm back full time on Elden Ring, and yeah, the game's huge. They keep going. Hang on, four seven locks, and you've been clearing what? out some backlog. Yeah, try and see. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've, I've finished Mass Effect trilogy. That's done now. Congratulations! Which is excellent. Nice. One of the best trilogies in gaming, in my opinion. Did you get the platinums? I did. All three platinums and hundred percent in the, the extra bit. Do we still have the soundboard? Uh, oh, no, I don't actually. At the minute, hold on, I'll find it. I forgot. It's been, yeah, it's, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a long time. Uh, hold on. Good. That's a good one. <laughs> Sploop. 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 Oh, yeah. Okay, that's good. It's a good sign. <clears throat> um, oh, I think it's weird. Oh, here we go. There nope. we go. Didn't oh, work. Never mind. Good. Didn't work. <laughs> there it is. Yes. <laughs> hey. So yeah, bunch of buttons right good. there. That's awesome. Um, that's what well I played. Played uh, Life is Strange, True Colors. Oh, okay. Really did good. you like? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, really good. I enjoyed it. Good story. Um, yeah, it's, only, it's not like episodic like the first two. Mm. It's like one self-contained. Uh, story and yeah, I enjoyed it. It's on Game Pass. Yeah, Kate, Kate, so. Kate's been playing it as well on Game Pass. Yeah, yeah, so I thought, it was, on there. thought it was pretty good. Yeah, but why not give it a play? Good, enjoyed that. Um, I played a game called Turnip Boy Commits Tax, ev tax Evasion, which is on Game Pass. Greatest name for a game of all time. Just, yeah, it's it's amazing, it's very funny. It is a top down Zelda like uh game, and he's just he's just really funny, it's just about the. It's about tearing up legal documents, basically. You start nice. the game, you tear up a document, and then you go around. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> I've, I've got it downloaded on my <laughs> Xbox. I haven't played it yet, but um, I've got it. It's only, it's only a couple hours long, a uh, bunch of easy achievements. So, yeah. Well, How are you finding your Xbox? I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I like it a lot. Got Game Pass on there, obviously. Mm -hmm. Just picking up random games here and there. Give them a try, why not? Yeah, of course. Uh, game, yep. Games like Taekwondo Tattooing. The drum master. Good <laughs> lord, man! What a game! That's a, you know what we laugh at it, but it's a great game. It's so fun. And it's addictive. It's addictive as shit. It's so addictive. Like I thought, oh, I played a little bit. I won't bother getting the achievements, but now I've got every, every achievement. 
like <laughs> stay for hours, yeah, <laughs> tapping away, drumming away. <clears throat> Carpal tunnel, it's all good. Worth nice. it. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. Um, so yeah, that's been really fun. Um, it's here right now, just uh, Elden Ring. Oh, and um, Tonic, Tonic uh, Origins came out. Oh, is that out now? Is it? I thought it was tomorrow. Yeah, for some reason. I don't know. yeah I thought it was tomorrow oh, as well, okay. but no, it's popped up today. And yeah, it's excellent. It's kind of surreal seeing like Sonic in full and uh, widescreen. Got the first time it's been in widescreen. And he can play his Tails in Sonic 1, which is like surreal as well. Because that's the mm-hmm. first time I've been able to do that. And it's, it's just a cool, it's a cool little collection. And um, you've got like a mission mode, which mixes things up and gives like collect 100 rings in this. Um, you know, in this stage, and it's like this stage is all moved around. Uh, oh, okay. Through. Yeah, it's cool. It's very so. Fun. It isn't just it. a bog standard Sonic collection that they've brought out a hundred times before. Uh, no, not quite. Um, they are obviously the games are still essentially the same games, but they've revamped it and added new stuff to them. The only downside is they've had to take out some songs from Sonic Three because Michael Jackson or something. Apparently yeah. he. Apparently he helped compose some songs for Sonic 3 and they've not been able to get the rights back for them. Really? Yeah, so they've been, they've been replaced with some songs that nobody was good. Can you but believe that, by the way? Michael Jackson composing songs for Sonic 3. <laughs> I know, right? It's very strange, but it's a shame those I songs don't think aren't, I'm but... Peter Pan. I am Peter Pan. Hey, right. Peter Pan. She yeah. got a hair on her goddamn body. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, right. <laughs> both, both selector, man. You'd never get away with it now. Not a chance. <laughs> no chance. Jesus. <laughs> I think I am. Uh, right, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that, um, that's about it. Oh, Halo 5, I'm jumping in and out of. Every now and again to get... Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> got action there. Halo 5. Okay, who you started the campaign? Oh, yeah, played the campaign. Um, just on and off. It's fun. It's Have fine. you tried the multiplayer? No. It's good. Yeah. But yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, I mean, it is good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to play multiplayer. I'll just play Halo Infinite. Oh, wait. You said Halo 5. Okay, yeah. Yeah, ignore yeah. me. Halo Infinite's, Infinite's got really good multiplayer. Infinite's got really good multiplayer. Yeah? So is 5. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Me and Denzel were really good at Halo 5 multiplayer for. Some reason we don't even know why. I still don't know why. I suck at it now. I suck at Halo multiplayer now. But back then, for like a like a two two or three month period, we were killing it, man. It was so ridiculous. We were nice. just so good at it. Pro, pro gamers, definitely, yeah. Nice. Back back in the day, but no, no, <laughs> not anymore. Oh, that's a shame. But yeah, it's fun. Um, I'm much rather be playing as Master Chief the entire time. I feel like his story is uh-huh. way more interesting. And going plays lock, you're like, oh, okay, lock time. Get through the squigs again. Then back to Master Chief. Yeah, yeah okay. Good time. <laughs> yeah, but, there's uh, something about Master Chief that I mean that, that you know, he is obviously the main character in Halo, but hmm. and that, that that's the only misstep I think with Halo 5 is that you do play as the other dude and uh no one wants to. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, no, it's fun, it's a fun time, it's you know. It's all seven out of ten. It's all you yeah, need for sure. Time. Sometimes you, sometimes you just want to shoot things, and that's you know if it's the if it's the build. There you go. That's it. Sometimes you just want to shoot things, and I agree with yeah. you completely. I get it. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and that is probably about it for now. Cool. Uh, how about you? Oh, what have I been playing? Oh, uh, I played a little bit of WWE 2K22. Not loads of it. I think it's nice. great, but I haven't played a lot of it. Nowhere near enough as I probably should have by now. Same. What else have I been playing? Uh... So easy to get distracted, though. I yeah, know. I know. Uh, yeah, it is. It is. It really is. Uh, I've, I've really got back into Forza Horizon 5. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I'm plowing a lot of time into that at the minute. Nice. It's just a game that just never seems to end. And it nice. is... It's, just looks and I've and I've said it before on the podcast that it's not only a phenomenal racing game it is a great game because all the different mm-hmm. little different things that you can do with it you know you've got your 
you've got a story mode element to it. You've got your, your different types of races. You've got your seasonal objectives as well. It's just brilliant. It just keeps you entertained. And then we've obviously got the Hot Wheels stuff coming up, which I know some people were a bit disappointed about. For me, I, I'm really looking forward to it because it'll be my first experience of the of the Hot Wheels, um, you know, in in, uh, in Forza. So really looking forward to that. Uh, again, it'll add a different element to the game. So yeah, I, I've, yeah. I've put a lot of hours into it, and I, I, I love it. And and that's the game that that always distracts me from the other stuff. <laughs> so that's uh, but always playing, it's not a bad game. Forza. It's not a bad game <laughs> to get distracted by. But going back to the Hot Wheels stuff, um, yeah. I didn't play much of the Hot Wheels stuff from Forza Horizon Three. But when I saw that right. they were doing it again, my initial reaction was, um, okay. They're doing it again, but it must be something different because why would you do the same thing twice? And it's, yeah. I, what surprised me even more with the Hot Wheels stuff is there's an actual Hot Wheels game out, game, which has yeah. a shitload of its own DLC and, you know, that sort of stuff. So that was surprising as well. But, you know, since they showed it off and, you know, it's supposed to add so uh, an enormous map again. Yeah. Um yeah. I think it look, looks phenomenal. I can't wait. I think it looks really good. Um so yeah. I'm looking forward to getting really stuck into that. Yeah, same. Same. Uh what else did I do? I downloaded <laughs> uh probably not a game that you neither of you two will play, but I downloaded uh, Cricket 22 because it was on Game Pass. Um I had Cricket 20, I think, mm -hmm. which was an okay game. Uh and this one is is it's fine. Um, it's strangely addictive for a, for a, a cricket game. You can just sit there and play, and like before you know, it, you've lost lost a couple of hours, and you're like, "Oh Christ!" You know. And no. um, actually, actually, for for some of the, the the licensed stuff that's in the game, the presentation is really really good. So you've got you've got the uh, the hundred, which is a, a format of cricket, which is fairly new, and that's all like fully licensed. The presentation and everything. Uh, lots of like licensed uh, grounds and stuff. So yeah, it's it's good. But I, I kind of decided that there's all these great games that are coming out, and I can't be wasting my time playing a cricket game. So um, I've knocked that on the head, and uh, that's what's kind of got me back into Forza a little bit. And then there's all this all these games that are coming out, which I'm sure we'll, we'll talk about shortly. Uh, and then the most so, recently, it's not the game. Your time if you're enjoying it, though. Yeah. No, no, I, I, no. You're right. You're right. I guess with with I do have to be a bit selective because I've got a Series S and I haven't got a huge amount of space, and it's quite a big game. Uh, so, oh, is it? I, I do okay. have to. Yeah, yeah. I think because of all the different modes that are in there and all the different, um, there's loads of teams on there. You've you know from all different parts of the world and uh, like it's got it's it's got the full complement of the county cricket teams in this country, all the real names. And, oh, wow. Okay. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So, and there's like a, a career mode where you start as a rookie, you know, the usual sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, but it, it is a, it is a big game. And I was looking at all the stuff that was coming out, coming out soon from the, uh, you know, from the showcase that was on a couple of weeks ago. And I thought, mm. yeah, I need to perhaps free some space up somewhere ready. Um, <laughs> but then most, re most of the game that I've been playing uh, most recently is the, the new Turtles game. Oh Which yeah. Came out the other day. Which, it's good, uh, right? Oh, it's superb. It's so good. Bloody harder than I thought it'd be, to be honest. I thought, ah, this will be a piece of cake. I'll breeze through this. Nope. Uh, yeah, so, it's but it's, it's good. It's a good challenge. Uh, and yeah, it's just so cool. Such a cool game. We should play that together. We all have Xboxes, so we, we could easily yeah. Yeah, go we should. replay a co-op stream on that, for sure. Yeah, yeah that would be good. Be cool. I'm Raphael, okay? Just so you know, <laughs> that's, that's my, my go-to... That's my go-to turtle. Mm -hmm. I'm Raphael. Yeah, Bagsy Raphael. Bagsy Raphael. <laughs> Bagsy Leonard. There we go. I've done it. Which one's the one choice? Uh, Stuff. I can't. I want to watch Donatello. Turtles. Yeah. Donatello. What? <laughs> you didn't watch Turtles? Uh, no, I kind of, kind of dodged that one somehow. Anyway, this has been the Games and Grass podcast. Uh, it's been really good to be back. We're now finished, and that's it. Thank you. But no, I was all Power Rangers. Rangers okay, well, that's that's fine. Yeah. Power Rangers is awesome. There's one, two things you want to. That's yeah. fair enough. Um, for, uh, to be fair, I mean, you're a little bit a little bit younger than us, aren't you? So, 
a little bit. Um, it probably within them sort of couple of years, it's bypassed. It probably bypassed you. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So, but it started yeah. what in the late eighties, I think. Turtles. Yeah, I would say like the first movie was like the first movie was like nineteen ninety, I think. Let's have a look. Uh, God, that movie, that movie is bad. Well, the first one, the first one's really good. I'm not the first one. No, um, you know which one. Three is yeah. bad. Three is yeah. bad. <laughs> the young uh, one. Nine, yeah, the first one's 1990. Holy shit, man. Wow. I went cinema to see it. Then That's yeah. how fucking old I am. At the Hinkley Cinema. The cinema in Hinkley. Yeah, yeah, when it was on the corner. Wow. Long yeah. time ago. It's yeah, just been, man. It's been derelict now for 20 odd years. Well, yeah. Yeah. You see the pictures from inside it, though. Yeah. It's creepy yeah. as shit. It's so creepy. Yeah, I would, I would not want to go in there. Uh, uh, in the no day, like, alone at night. Yeah, I wouldn't go in there in the day. It's dark. <laughs> yeah, it's dark as shit. Real. Is it? Yeah, the pictures are. But yeah, it's. I'm surprised it hasn't fell down. To be honest, uh, I'm a little bit. It's a shame. Guys, proper, proper, old, proper old fashioned building. It's uh, you know, it was very popular, wasn't it? Back in the it day, certainly was popular. Yeah, crazy that it closed down and then. It's just been a few other things since then, and they've, they never took off. But everyone always remembers it as the old cinema. Yeah, yeah. Guys, for the guys day. from not yeah. our area, Google um, <laughs> old Hinkley Cinema, and the pictures will probably come up. Just have a look at what it looks like inside. Now it's basically it's literally just a derelict, empty old cinema. Uh, go and have a yeah. look at it. It's creepy, but it's cool. Very. Nice. Yeah, it is. It is and stuff like that's cool. Um, so yeah, and and uh, just so back to the gaming, just a game that I've uh, I've got downloaded, ready to play, and this is something that I'm. This is the game that I'm hoping will in, in get you know get my son into gaming. So I've downloaded the Paw Patrol game for him to play. Oh and yeah, easy that, and for me to get an easy thousand gamer score. So, <laughs> so yeah, Look, hopefully, I mean, yeah, Finn's, Finn's gonna have some games like that on his record. Oh god, yeah, loads. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So I saw it on I saw it on Game Pass, and I thought, and he bloody loves Paw Patrol. So I was like, that's the one. That, that'll be the game. Hopefully, that will get him into into gaming. He's only young, so you know he's got plenty of time. Plenty of time. You never know. You might enjoy it. You may find yourself wandering off into Peppa Pig territory and picking yeah. that up. No, not a chance. <laughs> Pig is hey, look, never house. say never. Not in this house. Oh, you, you, no. you look adamant that that's not going to happen. <sighs> no way. No Peppa Pig. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Squinny's got Peppa Pig. Squire, at least he's played it. <laughs> yeah. Fair it's for my kids. Of course it is. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah of course I, I, it I'd is. say it's the truck. I've been playing it while Travis has been at uh, preschool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, completed Pulp Trauma and deleted it. Yeah, yeah, I deleted it. <laughs> I got past the game score. It's gone. Fucked up. Yeah, I don't play it now, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's it. That's it. I've uh, yeah, I've... it's Forza. It's just all Forza. Love it's it. all Forza, and that's all good. What a game. It's all good. For sure, man. For sure. Um, I've been playing a few different bits. Uh, so I've been playing a lot of old old wrestling games recently. Um, nice. Mm -hmm. From different eras, different eras, should I say? Eras. Um, yeah, different eras. So I've been playing sort of the games from the 64, the games from the PS2, and some of the games from the GameCube as well. Um, obviously, awesome. with the GameCube, you're literally limited to Day of Reckoning, but they're great games. Yeah. So I've been doing that. Uh, I've been playing, I've been playing eFootball a lot. Um, it's definitely a much better game now than the last time we did this podcast. <laughs> and I'm basically just addicted to it. I play it all the time. <clears throat> but I have been on my Switch a fair bit recently. I've been playing uh, Super Mario Strikers Battle League. Nice. Which is really good. Uh, very high quality, as you would expect from Nintendo. Uh, the only thing, my, my criticism of it, and this is my one criticism, it's a little bit light on content. Yeah, I've heard it before. Oh, no. That yeah, I've seen the whistle was more to it. It's a bit like um, 
uh, not Wii Sports, Switch Sports that came out. Yeah. Yeah, really fun. But once you've played them a few times, like, okay, now what? Just because there's no story mode or like mission mode, it's just like play against people online. And that's it. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's a little bit light on content. And especially, you know, for a full price game, um, yeah, you, you probably do expect more. I mean, usually with the Mario sports games, there is some sort of story mode attached to it. Mm. But there isn't in this case, which is strange. You've literally got cups uh, that you can play for, like in Mario Kart, for example, where you would have you know, the Star Cup or the Mushroom Cup or whatever. There's um, there's different cups in, in this game as well. But it's, yeah, it's a little bit light on content. It's really good, very fun to play, very playable. But it's, yeah, I, I need more from it. I need more. Um, I need more content for sure. Yeah. Um, and another game I've been playing also on Switch is Kirby and the Forbidden Land. Oh, uh, yeah, that's good. Now, this game, hard. you will absolutely love it. Big time. It's honestly, it's beautiful. I don't know how Nintendo do it. They make these <laughs> just unbelievably gorgeous games on for, for Switch. And this is this really is one. I've, n- I've never played a Kirby game before. At least not properly, but probably like, you know, here and there back, you know, back a few years ago or whatever. But uh, I really like the look of this after playing the demo. And it's just gorgeous. It's so, so gorgeous. And it's just, it's just an absolutely brilliant game. And I can't recommend it highly enough. It's, 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 it's one of those games. I mean, it's typically Nintendo in terms of the way it looks um, and the way it plays, but there's just something about it that makes it very, very special. I think it's, um, I think it's right up there with the best games on the system. To be honest, yeah. like the best games on the Switch, yeah, easily, because there's just so much to it, and there's so much variation in the in the level in the levels and stuff. Uh, beautiful music as well, as always with Nintendo games. But yeah, I, I I hold this game in very high regard. I think it'll definitely make my games of the year when the end of the year arrives. But it's very, very nice. good. Yeah, I've heard good things about that. Um, Kirby, I've always liked Kirby. I think it's the first 3D like Kirby. It's always yeah. been like 2D. Uh, so it's cool. It's cool. They're um, doing new things with Kirby. I like it. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's, it's sort of like Mario Odyssey in a way with uh, the yeah. way you can sort of transform into different things. Because obviously with Mario Odyssey, you could you could throw the cap and you could like control the T-Rex or whatever else. Uh, but with this, obviously Kirby um, like inhales. Yeah. Uh, so you can like inhale that. enemies, and then you get their you get their ability. Oh, okay. uh, and it's really cool because it, it just creates so many different opportunities within the game, and uh, you can upgrade the abilities that you unlock as you carry on as well. So there's a lot to it, and it's. See, that, for me, is a full-price game. Mario Strikers, I think you probably could have got away with... Char- well, I mean, you could have you could have charged 30 quid for it, and it would probably be justified. But this Kirby game, uh, yeah, it that's a full-price game all day. Cool. Nice. But to be honest, that's pretty much it. I've been flitting around just doing other stuff. I mean, I downloaded a few PS1 games from the new PlayStation Plus subscription stuff today. Oh, yeah. Cool. Downloaded Ape Escape, Siphon Filter, and Tekken 2. Nice. nice. Did you pay uh, £339 for Tekken 2? I didn't pay £339 for Tekken 2, but I love that that hilarious <sighs> glitch made it over here as well. Yeah, so strange. I think they would have figured that out by now, but I guess not. Well, I would have thought so. I mean, it, what was it in America? Was it like $6,000 or something? <laughs> something like that, yeah. How have they not <laughs> sorted it out? <laughs> like, I like yeah. Tekken 2 as much as the next person. <laughs> but I'm not, not sure. Much, I would want it hand delivered by Heihachi himself. <laughs> yeah. To my door. Um signed by the entire cast of Tekken. Then <laughs> we can maybe talk the mega books. But until then, it's not 336 pounds worth of game. Probably. Not quite. Yeah. Great game. But not 336 pounds mm. worth of game. No. There's not even trophies in it. I know oh, that sucks. Uh, yeah. I do like that there is PS1 games with trophies now. I think that's cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, that is cool. It I definitely gives sick. me a reason to want to play through Siphon Filler. Yeah, me too. I'll play that again. I'll play that and Ape Escape on my two I'm looking, I'm looking at. Oh, hell yeah. Ape Escape was the first one I downloaded. I was like, <laughs> firstly, I love Ape Escape. And 
Secondly, you can get a platinum trophy for playing Ape Escape now. So that rules. And Oops. same goes for Siphon Filter. Siphon Filter I have played recently on PlayStation Classic. I say recently. I'm probably going back a year now, but it's good. <laughs> it's still good. Plus, I hope they've updated the controls a little bit. Yeah, I think you can modify them in the, in the settings. I'm not sure. I'm not 100%, but I feel like they've done something to it. Mm, I'll have a look. Um, I'll have a look when I when I do get around to playing it. But I mean, I mean, I don't know what your opinion is of this, Finn. I don't know if you've seen it, Steve. I know you've not got uh, a PlayStation. But what, what do you think of the the catalog of games that have come with the new subscription service? Um, it's huge. There's so many big names on there. Um, it's, it's like Game Pass. It's like if you haven't, if you're new to PlayStation, this would be this is a no brainer. You've got like every virtually every oh, exclusive okay. you can you want on there. As well as tons and tons of first, uh, third-party games. Mm-hmm. Like, if you if you don't own these games already, just sign up for this, and you have access to every single one of them for a yeah. low price. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, it's, you know, you got both Spider-Man games on there. Yeah, Returnal is on there for Christ's sake. You know, yeah. um, I think I'm playing, actually, I played the Returnal DLC. Oh, how was well, it? Okay, DLC, really, really good. We yeah. addict it. Really fun. I love Eternal so much. You know, that's something that you can definitely help me with. Actually, we'll we'll stream yeah. that together, and we we'll get through it. Yeah, you can help Feel me like get it. through it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, that sounds good. But I, I think the lineup is amazing. You know, you've got Death Stranding on there. Literally, everything that you could possibly want, apart from sort of newer stuff like Horizon Forbidden West, Gran Turismo Seven. But there's a, a, a shitload of stuff on there. Yeah, but I think it's Souls. over 800 games. Yeah, yeah, Demon Souls. Wow. Yeah, it's loads. Yeah, it's it's nuts how much stuff is actually on there. And obviously, you've got the PS1 games. Uh, you can stream a library of PS3 games. I did try that earlier with Motorstorm Apocalypse. Oh yeah, oh, and it's fine. Okay. Great game, but it's it, it's fine. It's easy. You literally just click stream. It prepares it, and then it you stream away and play it. No latency issues. Nothing. Awesome. Nice. We didn't. We didn't know. Most, most, was it most storm? Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. I'd love That's that. Okay. I, that that ship has well and truly sailed because that that team doesn't exist anymore. Oh, doesn't it? Oh. No, okay. no. So that that team they went on to make Drive Club on PS4, oh, and that team was then bought by Codemasters. Oh, Codemasters yeah. was then bought by EA. Yeah. And that team yeah. is well and truly gone. Uh, yeah. they're, they're, so every, everyone's merged making Formula One and Need for Speed games now. So uh, the days of Motorstorm, unfortunately, are gone. I think the closest we ever got to it was Onrush. Oh, yeah. Which I loved. Cool. A lot, actually. Great game. What happened to, what happened to uh, Killzone? Are they still around? Or are they. Gorilla? Oh, no, Gorilla, is that what they're called? Oh, I actually got one. Can't it's, it's, it's the same team that make Horizon, so. Oh yeah, you're right. Actually, yeah. So it's Gorilla. It is Gorilla, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, I'm certain it's Gorilla. Yeah, I mean, I think they were. Well, the rumor was at least that they were working on another Killzone. I don't think that franchise is dead. But the last one we got was Killzone Shadowfall, which was a PS4 launch title. So yeah, was... fucking hell, a long time ago. Oh, me. Who old? I'm so, you know, it's going to piss me off now. I know that it's Guerrilla Games, but I need to get that confirmed. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to take to the internet to do it. Uh, well, they think that nag at, nag at you then when you're trying to sleep. You say, is it Guerrilla? Yeah. Are you sure? It's Guerrilla, <laughs> yes, it is, for fuck's sake. Okay. Knew it was. Had to get it confirmed. OCD. <laughs> but yeah, um, I guess they've been busy just doing that over the last few years, which is fine because, you know, <laughs> they're great games. Yeah. But I would like another Killzone game, but a Killzone game going back to the traditional sense of Killzone, yeah. like where it was just a beefy first-person shooter, just way ahead of its time when it came out, and then they brought the fourth one out, which is the PS4 one, and then never made any more. Yeah. I don't think the PS4 one reviewed all that well. I'm not sure why. Um, but yeah, it's probably, probably like, oh, okay, maybe it's time to move on to something else. Yeah. I and they did, do. and they've had they've had moderate success with it. So uh, more power to them, I suppose. Yeah, fair play, fair play. They know they know better than us. Yeah, <laughs> they do. But I think, yeah, I mean, that I've seen. You know, I've even had people sort of reply to my tweet about 
the PlayStation Plus stuff earlier on today, and people aren't happy, man. People, I don't know what people want. There's over 800 games. You're never going to play them all. Yeah. You know? Find something you want to play and fucking play it. I mean, I don't know what people are expecting from, from this. Yeah, I don't know either. It's not what more could you want, really? Like, don't get me wrong. If, you've already, if you already own all these games, then yeah, you're not going to sign up because you already own them all, all the ones you want. But, uh, but for people, as I say, people who are new to PlayStation, it's, you know, no brainer. Yeah, I agree. And yeah, there's a few glaring omissions. No Metal Gear Solid, which is mm. weird considering how prominent it was on uh, the PlayStation Now subscription stuff. Uh, yeah. Um, what else? Sly Cooper, nowhere to be seen. That's a shame. But yeah, but they are going to keep adding games. So hopefully down the line, they are going to sort of add more stuff. Yeah, I'm sure they will. We'll get them. What about we can have Mel get solid one with trophies? That'd be great. Hell yeah. Oof. Inject that straight into my veins. But don't make them like Mel get solid <laughs> two trophies, which are impossible. Really? That bad? That require like, what, like 10 different playthroughs? Because you've got collectibles. You know, like the dog tags you got to collect? Yeah, yeah. You need to collect every dog tag, but on different difficulties to have different dog tags with enemies. So you need to uh-huh. play through every single difficulty. Jesus and Christ. Yeah, you got to do yeah, it without getting the text on stuff like that it's like yeah i'm good was metal gear solid 3 about the same uh three wasn't as bad i don't think i haven't actually looked at it properly but i don't think it was anywhere, anywhere near as bad as two see i i played through metal gear solid 4 before the trophy patch i mean the trophy patch was way after it came out but um yeah, yeah i never went back and sort of played through it a second time but i would love to because i really enjoyed it yeah me too i like uh, four a lot of talking Jesus Christ, a lot of talking, but it was good. <laughs> it's it's uh, very story heavy, yeah. Classic Kojima. Yes, I mean, there's probably. I mean, there's definitely more story than game. <laughs> probably, yeah. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Great game though, Guns of the Patriots. What a oh, really good game, actually. I'd love to play that again. Me too. Guns Another game. The yeah. yeah. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> great game series. Um, yeah, so that's what that's what we've been playing basically. Um, yeah, so should we talk about because so, this is this, you know, we're gonna do this once a month, so we may as well do the games that are coming out for the, the month coming, so July. Yes, sounds good, good idea. And I think Finn Steele has uh got, got a list for us to, to, to pick apart. I do, let's put it on the screen actually. Oh, we fancy. Yeah. Uh, is that the right one? Sure. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Oh, what's up? Take one. Look at games. Shit. Uh, so we want that. Yeah, there we go. There I did we it. go. Let's, let's do right. this. So, July. Games of July. Um, I'll go through the biggest games on there. There's not a whole lot of uh, big games coming out this month. There's got a few okay. on there. F1 2022 coming to PS5 and PC. That's and next Friday, things. right? Um, the first, yes. The next Friday. Yeah, yeah that sounds right. Uh, looks really yeah. good, Steve. You hyped for this? Yeah, I am. It looks. Uh, that's another game that I've. Uh, I, I was playing F1 21 for a little bit. Mm. Uh, really good, really amazing game. And uh, obviously, we're we're currently you know, part way through the. Uh, the current 22 season, so mm. like to have things up to date and current. So, yeah, cool. yes, I'll, uh, I'm excited for that one. The, those games are mega consistent, and obviously now yes. it's fully under the EA bracket as well. So, um, mm-hmm. I know they're sort of tweaking it, and it look it, it looks fantastic. To be honest, it really does. I do play these games every year, not for very long usually because I get distracted. Classic me, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, these games are really, really good, and I just hope because obviously EA have got have sort of inherited that Code Masters team, and they were the ones who consistently made the Formula One games anyway. So hopefully that yeah. that same consistency will just carry on. Great games. Yeah, F1 games are always like the yeah. prettiest games out there. Whenever I've seen oh, come out, yeah. seen on Twitter, it's like wow, looks, looks real. Yeah, <laughs> it's real yeah, they're very um, for, Formula One as a as a sport is quite photogenic. Because of like the cars are just so pristine and uh, you know and and the and the tracks are uh, like the best tracks in the world. So 
and it, and it does come across in the games as well. You know, it just does, how yeah. amazing and 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 the game and the games the the presentation. Like I watched the Formula One and the presentation. It's I posted something on Twitter a few weeks ago, and I was like, you can't tell the difference. The the, the straight at the Mexican Grand Prix it was to be specific. Uh, you okay. couldn't tell if that was from the game or actually from Sky Sports. It was it was ridiculous. It just looks so well, yeah. good, so so good. So yeah, this this will yeah. be. Uh, and people are saying that this is by far people that have played, you know, played it already, said that this one is by far like the best so far as well. So yeah, awesome. And it's coming out uh, on pretty much everything: PC, PS4, PS5, yeah. Xbox One, and Xbox Series S slash X. Yeah, awesome. I mean, um, I mean, sure, we're surely we're coming to the end of time where the you know PS4 and Xbox One are getting games, right? Yeah, it's like exclusively PS5 and Xbox. Uh, series yeah it's gotta be hasn't it soon yeah i know some things have been announced already that are but i think they're still like a year or so off yeah i think i think it's only because of like um stock supply stock issues yeah i thought so well i think when you start getting a consistent flow of uh playstations and all that and xboxes in the wild i think then you'll start to see games being made just specifically for them especially when unreal 5 engine becomes the norm and games are going to look just absolutely just monstrous it's going to be awesome can't wait yeah do you play that um, matrix demo they released yeah my, oh my god dude it's so good stunning did you play steve i don't think i did i, I, I saw bits on youtube and stuff and it looked incredible Oh yeah, man! It's it was so good. Just, I mean, there wasn't much to it in terms of actual game, but you, you know, they gave you the freedom of the city to basically just go wandering about, and it was just so great. I can't wait to for, for games to just be that. Why like not? Yeah. yeah. So good. All right. Let's see what else we got. Um, speaking of sports, what's this? Match point tennis. Oh yeah, this is coming out game. on um, this is coming out on Game Pass day one. This oh, yeah. nice. It will Free. never be as good as Virtua <laughs> Tennis from the Dreamcast. Not a <laughs> single tennis game ever made between from from that point. Even the sequels to Virtua Tennis weren't no. as good as Virtua yeah, Tennis, the first one. No, so yeah, even I played enjoyed Virtua Tennis. I think what made. I think what made the first Virtua Tennis so great was I, I loved its arcadey look. And the, the yeah. graphics, for me at least, they only they, they seem to get worse over the games. Whereas the first one, I played the first one literally the other day, and it's still amazing now. Like it plays mm -hmm. so good. No tennis game is ever going to be better than Virtua Tennis. Sorry, Match Point Tennis Championships. I'm sorry you're going to be fine, but you're not going to be Virtua <laughs> Tennis. If you are, great. You won't be, but if you are, great. You won't be, but if you are, great. But you won't be. <laughs> you beat more arcade sports games. But you won't be. Yeah. I uh, the, again, that's something that was great about the Dreamcast. There were so many arcade type sports games on Dreamcast. And a yeah, lot, because yeah. obviously uh, with Dreamcast, a lot of the games that were on it were actually ports from arcade games. So Virtua Soccer, uh, Virtua Soccer, Virtua Striker. Yeah. Striker, I think I think it's cool. yeah that literally transitioned straight from the arcade to the dreamcast uh, as did virtua tennis and then obviously virtua tennis 2 and its sequels were fully fledged um games in their own right but you know even royal rumble you know straight from the yeah. arcade straight to the dreamcast yeah, great attack sega rally to a degree as well sega rally sega rally yeah sega well. rally yeah. finn just said crazy taxi yeah 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 Oh my god, crazy taxi man, so good. I used to play that recently. Yeah, that it's so good. It's just so good, still. Yeah. So so good. So yeah, match All point right. tennis is coming out. Won't be as good as virtual tennis, but that's okay. <laughs> It'd be funny. But tennis fan, I'm sure it'd be good. I'll definitely I'll play it on Game, game Pass. Pass. You know, I got it to lose. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll try it. I'll give it a go. Definitely. Smack some balls. <laughs> Who doesn't love smacking balls? Well, you know, that's one of my favorite things to do, smack balls. So uh we might as well. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Um, we've got Klonoa Fantasy Reverie series. That is a remaster remake of the first two Klonoa games, which are on PS1 and PS2, respectively. Okay. 
I didn't even know they made a second one, to be quite honest. I thought I knew I knew about the first one, but I had no idea there was a sequel. So, uh, yeah, it's on PS2. It's very good. It's a lot of games, um, on kind of under the radar games, like we wouldn't have heard of, they're not as you know, popular as Sonic's and Mario's. Mm. Um, but they're really fun, very unique, nice little, very charming, fun game. Yeah, I played yeah. the first one on PS1. I enjoyed it, I thought it was good. Yeah, the game's super very expensive now. Yeah. <laughs> Some reason, yeah. Um, yeah, good game. Worth checking out. Cool. For sure. So in a couple of weeks on literally everything. Uh, yep, so like 8th on everything, even Switch, I think. That'll translate pretty well to Switch, I think. Yeah, definitely. Very, mm. very Switch family friendly kind of game. Yeah, definitely. It's cool that the page isn't loading anymore, so that's good. Yes, yeah, that's fun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can stop working. Okay, cool. Let me just refresh the page real quick. Uh, um, any time now. This website has a habit of just breaking randomly. What <laughs> oh, website yeah. is it? Oh, oh, look at this! <laughs> uh, we've got server error application coming out. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, server error application is one of my favorite games. I can't wait for that. Yeah. It looks really good. Here we go. go. Yeah, we're back. In. I, I, I love the first one. It was yeah, the first was <laughs> yeah, the first <laughs> one was really good. The sequel's a bit of a dud. <laughs> oh. oh. No. Ooh. Okay. Segment over. <laughs> Segment over. <laughs> yeah, there's some games coming out. Enjoy. Wow. Technology. Got to love it. Um, AI, the Somnium file, Somnomnium. It's a Somnium. sequel. To the first game. <laughs> the first game is the second one. Um, it's is that a, very much a U game? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, it's, like, it's sort of like a detective escape room kind of puzzly sort of game. Very, very Japanese anime. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, I need to play the first one properly. It's on Game Pass, so I'll play it on that. Um, but it's made by guys who made other games, other some other similar. Oh, games they made other games. Great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Specific. <laughs> nailed it. Damn it. Nailed it down. <laughs> the games you wouldn't know, wouldn't have heard of, but it's some games. Game. It's, it's from guys. They made other games. They made other games. Yeah, you know the ones. <laughs> they could have yeah, made ones. many of the games on here, but they, you know, just other games. <laughs> exactly. You know the ones. Um, they made games called Zero Escape. <laughs> And they're very okay. good. No one, they're on Vita and now they're on PS4. Anyway, is this website going to work? One more nope. try. Then we'll, then we'll give up. We'll One go more try. Else. I like there's a game called Fist coming out. That sounds Fist. good. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, I think that's all the that. on everything else. I think it's like a Metroidvania kind of, kind of thing. Of course it is, because yeah, there's not enough of them. Yeah, <laughs> everything's a Metroidvania. <laughs> Hold on, let me get, let me get a better website. Everyone, every, everything's Metroidvania or uh, roguelite. Yeah, or both. Or both, yeah. <laughs> yeah, or both. Or a visual novel. A visual novel. Or vi yeah, or a visual novel. <laughs> oh, it was a popular one as well. Oh, here we go. Visual. Oh, there we on. go. It's loaded. Is that Power Wash uh, Simulator? Oh, oh yes. Again, it's finally coming out for real. I think it's been on PC for a while. Hey, as part of Steam's like preview thing. I think it's okay. finally coming on PC and Xbox. Yeah, Xbox. Oh, it's coming. Yeah, Xbox One, Xbox Series X. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's one of those games that like should be terrible, but it's <laughs> weird, weirdly relaxing. And but I, I bet it's addictive. As yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, have we you played Lawnmower Simulator yet? <laughs> no, I've not actually. Oh my god, it's so ridiculously addictive. <laughs> it's good as well. Actual okay. jet washing or power washing, whatever you want to call it, is addictive. So no, I bet. It is. You just like, oh my god, look, look how clean everything is. <laughs> there we go. One for the dads. Oh, power Wash Simulator. Yeah, that comes on game. Oh, so this is, it's a, oh, it's a dad game. Dad's a dad game. <laughs> Travis is downloading it, going, uh, this this could be one me and my dad dance, can play dance, together. Dance. Power Wash <laughs> Simulator. We've got it. Yeah, What's yeah. this? Oh, this is that <laughs> one that we were talking about before. Yeah, the, like the this. guys that make other games. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> other games like that one game and then the other one. Yeah, and the guys that make other Finn games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good times. Um, Stray. This is a game that's been coming out for about seven hundred years. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> it's a game about a cat. You play as a cat, and it's super cute. Go on, the cat. And I want to play it. Uh, also, this is uh, PlayStation Plus Day One. Yeah. Which actually nice. sounds weird to say. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Um, it looks great, by the way. This. Yeah, it's sort of yeah, a trend it looks, recently. It looks amazing. It's really, really fun. I knew he doesn't love cats. 
yeah, you know, mine. One of mine uh, podcast actually brought a a mouse home last night, a dead mouse. Oh. Nice. And then he uh, he placed it on the floor in our living room and lay next to it like he was <laughs> proud of what he'd done. <laughs> Ta-da. This is for you. So, um, look at my work. So... <laughs> yeah, our cat has a habit of bringing stuff home. Sometimes they'll lie and he puts them down in the living room. And they've got to try and chase them, chase that it around, try and get it out of the house. It's worse this time of year, I think, because like they brought a bird home the other day, not oh, in no. the going out on the piss sense. They, um, <laughs> I mean, <What>? like, it, <laughs> like she just wandered in with it in her mouth like it's a gift. Well, like, I don't oh. want this shit. <laughs> Take it back, you know? <laughs> yeah, but Stray looks good. Uh, there's the Forza Horizon uh, Hot Wheels DLC, which is yeah. a few weeks away yet still. A few weeks away, yeah. It's July 19th. Yeah, it looks fun. Yeah, I'm excited. But I mean, look how beautiful that looks. Holy shit, man! Yeah, it looks incredible. I mean, oh, like, like again, the scene, the the with the game itself, the the scenery and everything is is unreal. Oh, so that's that stunning. Looks cool as fuck. That does. It does yeah, it looks great. awesome. Really good. I know what I'll be doing for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks great. It really does. Um, it's awesome as well because I remember when when Forza Horizon Five was coming out. They did an offer where if you bought the expansion pass for like uh, it was quite cheap, wasn't it? I think it was. Cheap, um, yeah. You got you basically get both expansions and you got to play the game early. Nice. Yeah. So it's basically yeah, yeah. just upgrading to the deluxe edition, and it, um, but you could still download the full game from Game Pass, so it was really good. Awesome. Yeah. Good stuff. Buzzing for that. What have we got here? Capcom Arcade Stadium. Oh, the second one. Bunch of old school Capcom games. Arcade games. A lot of them haven't been released yet, which is cool. I think it's like the first ever Street Fighter. Hmm. You've, never, you've never seen anyone speak about because it it's a bit shit. But, but you now you can finally play it on the cons. Um, Street Fighter 2 was free or might even still be free on uh, PS4 or PS5 and PS4 for Capcom Arcade Stadium 1. Oh, uh, yeah. So you can actually download Street Fighter 2. You might have even been on Xbox as well, but I'm not sure. I did grab it while it was free, but obviously the chances of me playing it are slim to none. Cool. Oh, we've got um, Street Fighter, Saturday Night Slam Masters. Nice. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Uh, Black Tiger, Mega Man 2, The Power Fighters, uh, Magic Sword. Yeah. Some classics in there. I like it. Good. They're always good collections, those. Yeah, Capcom mm. made some amazing games back in the day. The thing is, there's so many games to play now. You know, when collections like this come out, it, it's very difficult to sort of imagine yourself actually sitting down to play them. These are the kind of things where if you, like, take your Switch on holiday or something, mm. which yeah. is exactly what I'll be doing in, in a few weeks' time, um, you know, you if you if you get 10 minutes, you just you throw a game like that on and just play some old stuff. Exactly. It's a perfect, perfect Switch game. It is, yeah. That, that, that term is still very much well and truly alive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big time. Um, and we've got I think the last big release of the month is uh, for me, one for me Xenoblade Chronicles 3 mm -hmm. that is not the box art, that is the box art for one which someone has photoshopped a 3 onto for some reason <laughs> <laughs> amazing <laughs> artwork yes, it's great um, but yeah, it's it's a really good JRPG series um, what makes it slightly unique is that it's localised in England so everyone has a British accent which is kind of funny okay <laughs> The uh, to be honest, this, this does look good. Yeah, it looks super pretty for, for a Switch game. It looks amazing. Again, it's a thing. Well, I don't, I don't know how they do it. I mean, it's the mad, details. Mad. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, this is insane. Like, the with with Switch games, you get so many intricate little details that probably have no right being on Switch. And that sounds, yeah. probably sounds like a, a snobby asshole thing to say, but. Um, I don't know how they do it. I mean, I, f I feel the same when I play Kirby. I'm like, what? this looks incredible. How does it look <laughs> so incredible? Because they've they've not upgraded graphics since the Wii. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> yeah, but one, one of the stuff's always been really good at squeezing like the last bit of power out of thing. The one they've been on the Wii U is insanely good looking. Yeah, uh, it did look good. Yeah, but yeah, incredible stuff. Um, and that for big releases is about it, I reckon. Uh, two point canvas looks two point campus, should I say, looks awesome if that is out this month. Oh, that's all yeah, okay. yeah, Fuck that, that game until next month, then. Oh, yeah, there it is, August. But that's basically like, um, 
hospital, the hospital one. Two point it? hospital, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, two point hospital. Same, same guys, yeah. Because like theme hospital, yeah. Which, That's by the way, is awesome. Stuff. Oh, awesome. the original theme hospital, so good. Oh, the original theme hospital is awesome, but two point hospital is really, really good. Yeah, too. It is. I have got it actually. I've not tried it since I've had this new laptop because it was on my old laptop. It was pretty much unplayable because the laptop was so old. But I should yeah, try Kay's, it on this new one. Kay, we've just got Kay a new gaming laptop. Um, she was basically she plays The Sims a lot, uh, Sims mm-hmm. Four, and she was been, been playing it on my the laptop that I used to record. And it's not a gaming laptop by any stretch. It could barely run it. It was laggy as shit. <laughs> and I've got this uh, new one, and it's awesome. And it, the, the Sims is running mm-hmm. like a like a fucking dream, but it's, nice. I definitely want to sort of check out. I probably will play two point campus and I might revisit two point hospital on it because I think they're probably easier games to play on a PC than a console. Yeah. Big time. Yes. Definitely. So Kay's like a proper PC pro gamer now. Well, I'm not sure, you know, pro gamers probably, I mean, she's a <laughs> PC nerd. If they want to, if we're going to go down that road. <laughs> cool. Uh, but yeah, it, to be, to be fair, the, the laptop that we got is really, really good. Um, awesome. It's loud as shit, but I guess that's gaming <laughs> laptops for you. Yeah. Is it loud to PS4? No. PS4 Pro? But nothing, nothing is. Nothing, loud. Is loud. nothing is as loud as that. No. The red <laughs> arrows aren't as loud as a PS4. Yeah. Concord <laughs> was quieter than a PS4. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's about it for the games of the month. Cool. There we go. Sweet. So some, some good stuff coming out in July. What's your pick of the month, there, Finn? I know what it's going to be, but we might as well say it anyway. Um, I don't know. It's a few to do them, actually, for me. I quite like Stray. <laughs> I want to say Stray, just to be different. Oh, really? I thought you were going to... I, th- I thought 100% you were going to go Xenoblade Blade Chronicles. Team Blade Chronicles does look amazing, but I still need to play two. I need to play after it before I get three. Fair enough. So but, that means uh, Finn's going to play three uh, never. So that's good. Yeah. About 10 years. Um Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I took my switch. switch up. The, the switch is still going. <laughs> yeah, still not going. bothered bringing anything else out. It's just uh, no yeah, 4K a, anything. Yeah, Mario Kart 8 is still going. It's still selling. <laughs> yeah, there's a, a you know 400 DLC tracks <laughs> for Mario Kart 8. Yeah, <laughs> love it. To be fair, you probably don't even need a new Mario Kart game. You know, when they oh, keep yeah. just churning out DLC tracks, because what what more can you actually do? Yeah, this pretty much. Like, yeah. So Mario Kart 8 is literally the best kart racer ever made. Crash Team mm. Racing, I don't want to hear it, okay? <laughs> don't want to hear yeah. you Crash Team Racing, I don't care. Please play that. No, I, I, I've been scarred for life from Crash 4. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just hate Crash forever now. Yeah, I get, I get like PTSD flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love that that's still your pinned tweet as well, that Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so good. Yeah, brilliant. So so good. Um, well, let's talk wrestling. Finn, have you been watching? You've been keeping up with the wrestling? I have actually. Yeah. Um, so I'm trying to find an image, a funny image I saw. Uh, no, Steve, yeah, I know you've not been overly keeping up with the wrestling, but I know that you sort of keep up with it in terms of like social media and all that sort of stuff. Because obviously, you message me when stuff happens and whatnot. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh... The, the backstage stuff and all of that still fascinates me, you know, for, for something yeah. that is basically make believe. Uh, all of that sort Pardon? of stuff. Just so, wait, what? Oh shit! Um, what the fuck are you talking about? It's sorry. real. Yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> Cheers, <laughs> ruined it. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, it's it's um, I'm keeping it, but I haven't, you know, I, I, in terms of matches and stuff like that and. No. Couldn't tell what you who the Intercontinental we... Champion is for some for for, for example. <laughs> Wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> um neither does Sunny. Well, <laughs> uh Finn, help me out. It's Gunther. Oh, of course it is. Yes, of course is it, it is. is. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's cool. I've yeah. Gunther. Gunther. That is cool. Gunther. Yeah, he beat Ricochet for it, which is uh yeah, I mean, to be honest, they're pushing they're pushing Gunter to be like just a, yeah. an absolute beast, and uh, the, oh my god, he's in unbelievable shape. Like, oh, yes. I, I know that they're very sort of happy are. with you know his willingness. Yeah, yeah, Ludwig Kaiser is as well. Um, mm-hmm. Was it just Ludwig now? Is it? 
think it's just Lud- is it? I'm sure it's just Ludwig. Uh, I think they yeah. dropped Ludwig the Kaiser, Kaiser sure wasn't they it? They did. They dropped the Kaiser, right? Okay. Because of the Kaiser. Chip. Um, of course, course, yeah, that's why exactly that's why. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Yeah. So I found this thing about Mario Kart Nine. Uh, yeah, yeah, here you go. Mario Kart so, Nine in active yeah. development will feature. I think I mean. <laughs> for those that, <laughs> for those listening to the audio version of this, it's this is a um, a screen grab from an article that VG twenty four seven posted. Mario Kart Nine in active development will feature a new twist hyphen anal dot dot dot. <laughs> I mean that is a that's an interesting twist for Mario Kart. I mean it certainly is. Yeah, it definitely is very very one. different. Yeah, um, <laughs> a new audience. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, got when things get cut off. We got to branch out. Yeah, you have. You have. I love it. Mario Kart Anal. Do 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 do. Just the name of the part. The fucking. You press the weapon. <laughs> oh Jesus! You press the weapon point. button and just a fucking huge dick comes out. <laughs> that's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> That's a... <laughs> That's a bum. <laughs> That's a bum. That's a So this is a sensible oh, podcast and then Finn does Yeah, that nothing that. but informative, <laughs> educational content. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, so now we know. That's now we know. What, yeah, that's what. That's yeah. At least we know now what the new Mario Kart's going to be. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> can't wait. But the day off. Get the lube out. <laughs> oh Jesus! Anyway, Ooh. speaking of going in raw, let's uh, talk about Vince oh, McMahon. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. It's wow. been a I mean, Jesus Christ, right? <laughs> what a, what is a weird the, man. A very, very peculiar man. Now, obviously, for, for people, you guys will know what's sort of gone on. If you listen to this podcast, you're a mark like we are. So you will know what's sort of going on. So Vince has basically had an affair. Uh, Johnny Ace has had sloppy seconds. And they've basically tried, they've basically paid, they give, they give the woman a promotion and then paid her three million to keep her trap shut. Something like that, yeah. Maybe something she should have done in the first place. Um, and her legs. And her legs as well, yeah. Uh, but anyway, so Vince McMahon has voluntarily stepped down as CEO of WWE whilst the investigation is pending. I don't think he'll go back to that position. Hmm. I think he's done. I think he'll still sort of be in charge, but like not officially, if that makes sense. Like it won't it be CEO, it'll sense, still yeah. be yeah, it'll still be running things behind the scenes. Yeah, so I mean in the interim, Stephanie McMahon is the CEO and mm. she left. Now mm. surely she left because of all these investigations and accusations that were clearly always going to come out. She must have known something was up. Definitely, yeah. It was very. It was all very. Uh, her, her leaving was all very sudden and out of uh, out of nowhere, wasn't it? Really? Yeah, it yeah, just, big time. And 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 there was no. I, I remember say thinking at the time that when it came out that Stephanie has left, I thought something's happened there because there was no fanfare. Mm. Yeah, you know. Where, whereas I think if it was a legitimate. I'm leaving. I want to, you know, step away from the business. I want to try some other stuff. I think there would have been a little bit of fanfare, but it was very much she's gone. So uh, my initial thoughts at the time were something's happened there. I wonder. I wonder yeah. what that is. I didn't think, think it would necessarily be that. No. Um, and then as well, someone someone pointed out as well that when Vince was on Pat McAfee's uh, show. Um, a few months ago was pre yeah. was it pre mania that he was on on that yeah so it was pre mania because that's when he offered um, Pat McAfee the match that we all knew about the match, yeah. Uh, yeah yeah um, by the way was he really referred good, to Linda 
Yeah, you know, amazing match, yeah. Um, he referred to Linda as his then wife and then quickly corrected himself Ooh. Uh, as well. But I don't think anyone really picked up on it. So this has been, so it, sorry, if you look at like the timings and everything, it, it kind of all kind of fits. And then this is all yeah. Kind of, yeah. now. Um, so yeah, interesting. Again, again, wrestling, just whatever you think of the in-ring product, the, there's enough goes on outside the ring to, to keep wrestling, you know, media going every single day. There's always something. Always there something. Is. And, uh, yeah. There really I, ne is. I never thought we'd see the, never thought we'd see the day that Vince would step down either voluntarily or permanently. You know, it was very much a, the only way he's leaving that place is uh, if you in a box, know. for want of a better yeah. word. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, in, uh, amazing times, really. Um, but then then he comes and appears on SmackDown. And I just think, what the fuck are you doing, mate? Yeah, he was on yeah. Raw as well. Yeah, yeah I, I haven't seen any of that. I didn't, I, didn't, I, I missed that, but it's just uh, the SmackDown cool. stuff. Yeah, I mean, it was, I mean, you know, when, when they announced it, I was like, okay, this is interesting. It's different. Um, mm. But. It was to get the viewers in. Of course it was, of course yeah. It was. Say, oh, what's he going to say? Is he going to stand down? Is he going to do this? No, it says, well, we do. Is he going to smack down? And... Yeah. and that was it. <laughs> he came out to eat music. Yeah. Everyone cheered because wrestling fans. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was super weird. And then the, the same thing on War, it just announced that John Cena was going to be on War next week, which you already knew, mm -hmm. and that was it. I think it's very much sort of damage limitation, seeing whether the fans are still on side and all this sort of stuff. But I think when you know the results of the investigation come back, I think he'll be found guilty, and I think at that point he'll have sort of no choice but to step down officially. Yeah. Um, I, and also, what was quite interesting is Triple H is apparently back, uh, been back at the Performance Center this week. Oh, yeah. Um, yes, exactly. Saying yeah. that he's back. Obviously, he can't be back he's in back, a wrestling yeah. capacity, but he's back in terms of uh, backstage back. Now, I don't know what that means, uh, but it certainly seems like Stephanie McMahon is maybe sort of using whatever authority she has right now to maybe change things for the better. And if that's the because there must something must have gone on for Stephanie to leave in the first place, and they fucking buried her on yeah. the way out as well. Yeah, like they didn't just it wasn't just sort of oh Stephanie's left. It was like every any sort of clip they put on it was of Stephanie in a bad way. So yeah, it was you know it wasn't really? sort of like here's Stephanie McMahon's best moments or any of that shit. It was like um, you know stuff when bad things have happened to Stephanie McMahon. So they pretty much buried her on her way out. And there's now thing... for her... Sorry, carry on. I'd say there's a thing being reported, like apparently she got let go where she wasn't good at her job or whatever. It's like, really? That's strange. It's a strange, strange thing to get out. Yeah. Which I can't believe for a second, to be honest. No. Yeah. No. I, know. Uh, I mean, regardless of what you think of Stephanie McMahon, um, you know, I... I don't know. I, 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 I do like Stephanie McMahon personally. I mean, you know, you hear horror stories about everybody, but Stephanie McMahon, uh, I do, I do like, um, I don't I mean, know why no. I can't, I don't like her music Her music fucking sucks, but, um, <laughs> I do, I do, no. I don't know, there's, there's a likable and an unlikable qualities about Stephanie McMahon, but I think she's probably stamping some sort of authority here to have triple H back in a, uh, in a backstage role. And now whether that's him taking back NXT, which I'd be surprised about, but I would love. Me too. Um, yeah. To be honest, whether he's going to take, you know, a stranglehold over Raw and SmackDown or Raw or SmackDown. Because obviously Bruce Pritchard is now head of talent relations. Yeah. Which moves him to, because Johnny Ace has been, um, sorry, that's so fucking marky of me. It's more than real. <laughs> John Laurinaitis. Um, has been uh, put on put on leave. Yes. So Bruce Pritchard is now the head of talent relations, which frees up a space in creative, assuming, presumably. Yeah. Yeah. So is Triple H back in that capacity, and he's going to sort of you know take charge in that sense. There's a we lot like of questions. We like we're going to have someone fresh in the creative role because. 
for, for a long time now, the world's felt very stale. And Smack, well, SmackDown as well, kind of. Because same matches yeah. every week, every pay per view. Like, we got Roman and Brock again for the 20th time <laughs> at SummerSlam. Yeah. Which, I have to be honest, I don't, I don't hate. Yeah. Because I don't see another credible um, person to beat Reigns. I know it's wrestling, and that's a stupid thing to say, but <laughs> I feel like they could who have else? Pushed, I feel like they could have pushed Bobby Lashley up a little bit higher up the card. Maybe have him fight for it. He was he was champion fairly recently. Yeah, and a really good champion as well. <laughs> better than yeah. Um, yeah, better than Drew, I would say. More enjoyable than Drew. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's not knocking. I, I really like Drew McIntyre. I don't want him to beat Reigns either. Yeah, I know what you mean. No. It didn't help that Drew's reign came during the pandemic. No, 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 you're right. So, definitely didn't help. But yeah, I know what you mean. I can't see Drew being near the near the championship at the minute. No, I, think no, he'll no. Win, I think he'll win Money in the Bank. That's you my think prediction. He will? Prediction. Yeah. In my opinion, I think Seth Rollins has to win it. That'd be good. Mm. Because be what you... Yeah, if Seth Rollins win it, you have him win one of the titles, um, assuming they are going to separate them again. Cody comes back, wins the Royal Rumble, main events WrestleMania, beats Seth Rollins for the title. 4 0. Book it, Vince. Or whoever's in charge now. Book it. <laughs> <laughs> Book it, someone. I can really like that. That sounds really cool. I can definitely yeah. get that. I mean, when, yeah. Cody, when Cody Rhodes comes back, he's, he's going to get that. I mean, the, I saw. A, um, an article yesterday, and the wording they used was the Triple H treatment. So from like when when Triple H came back that mm. year, um, I can't remember what year it was now. But anyway, when Triple H came back, and uh, at Madison was it at Madison Square Garden? He came back, and he had got that ridiculous pop on Raw, yeah. and that was just pushed to the moon from there on. I think um, I think Cody wrestling Hell in a Cell with the injury that he had pretty much um, cemented his place as the as the top guy in WWE, if, especially if Roman Reigns does take a, a bit of a backseat and go goes part-time. Yeah, mm. like the injury, yeah, it's insane. Like, never quite yet anyone wrestles that crazy. Like, with that bad of an injury. The pain must have been immense. I mean, I can't even imagine. Yeah, like getting hit with a belt across his chest as well. Yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> that can't have been fun. The dude's super tough. You know what? I have always been very... I was very critical of Cody in AEW when that first started and the way that he went about things. Mm. Um, yeah. Didn't like the throne smashing. Didn't like any of that sort of stuff. And it was just the constant running down of WWE. Um, for, the, for, for him then to leave AEW and be the first to jump ship back to WWE was huge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I think he learned a lot in AW as about as you know what not to do. I think <laughs> yeah, I, that that sounds that, that's a really good way of putting it. Yeah, I think he um, realised as well that he's a wrestler and not a businessman. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think being an AW uh, humbled him a touch in terms of um, being a performer and realising that mm-hmm. you know he's. Obviously, I, th- I mean, obviously we we don't know what was what went on in AEW that led to Cody Rhodes leaving or whatever. But um, you know, the the dirt sheets give you a pretty good idea, despite them all denying it. <laughs> but you know, yeah. there's no smoke without fire, as they say. Yeah. But um, sure. now that Cody's in WWE, I, I really enjoyed his work um, yeah. since he's come back. I think he's been just. He's been the main reason to watch Raw since WrestleMania. Yeah, I agree with that. Cool. And I think that's credit to Cody. And I think Seth's been great as well. Oh, yeah. Seth, but, Seth's always, you know, yeah. He's, but Seth's I think I would like Seth to be the one to dethrone Roman. And just yeah. be a, an asshole of a champion uh, on Raw for um, for the next few months until Cody comes back. That'd be cool. I'd be yeah. okay with that. Going back to what you were saying before, um, yes, you are right. I mean, there's a lot of the same booking going on on both Raw and SmackDown. So it'd be interesting to see sort of what happens now that Pritchard is now the head of talent relations. I don't know what his role in creative is going to be like. Um, but I would like Triple H to have more. I mean, we've, we've been saying it for years. You know, the way that Triple H ran NXT mm-hmm. and all that stuff. And, you know, he, he gave us the NXT that was for us, that we loved. And 
you know, made us sort of they gave, gave us a part of WWE to really enjoy that was for that yeah. was for us. And I would love him to stamp that sort of put you know, put that kind of mark on the main roster. Yeah, me too. That'd because be awesome. there's no reason why WWE can't still be you can't be pro wrestling and sports entertainment. Which, yeah. you know, I hate the term sports entertainment anyway. I hate even more the Jericho Appreciation Society bollocks in <laughs> AEW. I think that's annoying. I know that's the point, but it's annoying. Um, but I think, you know, it can be. I mean, you know, WWE still do put on very good matches. So WWE yeah. is still pro wrestling. It just has a lot of entertainment in it as well. But I guess being a publicly traded company, that it comes with that territory. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of good matches, yeah. Roman versus uh, Riddle on SmackDown was really good. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, really good. So you know, I do. I think WWE's heading in a, or was at least until this Vince stuff was heading in a, a quite a positive direction. Yeah, I felt like Cody coming in made things a little bit different. Uh, and then obviously yeah. all this Vince stuff has happened, and it's all a bit weird, but. There's, again, use that term again. There isn't there, there isn't smoke without fire. So there's obviously something to there's obviously an element there's obviously truth to this Vince stuff, and that's why he's had to step down. Um, although they say temporarily, I think it's full time. With the um, just with with the Vince thing, is the is is the investigation because they want to know whether the three million was WWE money or his money? I know which. People might say they're both they're one and the same, but they're not because you got. Yeah, I think it's company money. Sort of stuff. Uh, I think it's yeah. the way that I think and they fiddled the books. It, it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because yeah, I think because I'd, I'd sort of because didn't I, I? I'm sure I read that. So this this figure of three million pound is because whoever this 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 woman is, yeah, her wages doubled overnight, and that's how yeah. they got it through through the books. Yeah, sort of thing. That's how yeah, I've the, the, how I've read it. Yeah, yeah I think right. what they I think they changed their uh, her job title. So they they basically gave her a promotion um that then promotion, which the wages money. up yeah. to that. And I think that's where it could because it was literally overnight. Yes. And then yeah, yeah. it sort of um yeah, and everyone was sort of like, okay, this is weird. And then obviously all the I mean the it the chain of events that's happened, it's not a coincidence, I don't think. I think it's definitely, <sighs> you know. The stuff with the investigation, uh, well, the stuff with the allegations of Vince cheating and then, you know, fiddling the books. Obviously, it's led to Vince McMahon and Linda McMahon no longer being together, although still married, not living together. Stephanie must, uh, you know, people, have the, despite the fact that they're these people in power, they still have feelings as humans, I guess. Um, so Stephanie sort of, decided to take a step back from WWE. Then Vince has to step down because he's a dirty old bastard. And then, <laughs> you know, now Stephanie, Stephanie's back and in power. So it's it's quite, it's been quite the few weeks for WWE. But in terms of him coming out on TV, um, being Vince McMahon, it's very bizarre. Very, very strange. I think it's just a proof of point. I thought so it was... look, I'm still here. I'm still popular. People like me. You can't stop me. This is my company. Ah, stuff like that. <laughs> Just been seen. It was very, it was very weird. I, I thought it was quite tone deaf. I mean, we it's were oh, yeah, we definitely it's tone deaf. Yeah, on that Friday. We, we we were messaging, weren't we, on the day? Um, yeah, and we said that, that like it was like, oh, Vince is going to be on SmackDown, and I was like, I I would, I would, <laughs> I knew it was never going to happen, but I was like, part of me wants to see a humbled Vince McMahon be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything that I've done. I'm sorry for upsetting my family, uh, for letting my family down, the fans down, because you know you have to mention them. Um, I will be stepping away whilst whilst things play out. Hope to see you soon, sort of thing. But yeah. straight away, you messaged back and was like, "No, nah, he'll be in character." And and I knew deep down that that was going to be the reality. And then it was. Uh, and but and but and. It was a little bit weird to watch, and it was uncomfortable. And but at the same time, I'm glad it was over within like 20 seconds. I, I didn't want him in the ring for fucking five minutes or yeah. whatever, you know. 
which could have easily happened. You know, I mean, and, and again, it was it was very much the same thing on Roy. He came out of the start, basically said that John Cena was coming back next week. Um, talks about it being a. Pre- I, I, I do think he's having to wind down because he, he keeps sort of, um, you know, talking about how much of a privilege it is to be in front of the fans and how historic Raw is coming up to thirty years now. Maybe he sees the thirtieth mm. anniversary of Raw, then that's it. He's done. Maybe, yeah, yeah, potentially. Mm. Be uh be interesting, interesting few months coming up. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think either way, he's he has to be done for in that company. And as far as sort of it being leaked out, I have no doubts that it was Nick Khan. Maybe, <laughs> really? yeah. he's taken him down for the inside. Yeah, yeah, I do genuinely think that. I, I think he, I think he wants control of the company. Yeah, he's coming up that ladder. Yeah. Uh, uh, it wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, it, 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 it could have been anyone. Feels but, a bit you know, too obvious. Feels, feels a bit too obvious. Could be anyone. Could be a disgruntled employer at the, at the headquarters. Could be anyone, couldn't it? But yeah, it's probably not a yeah. bad shout. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It could be anyone. That's Tim Foyle Hat wrestling fan me. That is with uh, Nick Khan. <laughs> but it could very well be. But who knows? But it's yeah, it's going to be a very interesting few months in WWE ahead. But. um Otherwise, I wonder if Sasha Banks are... enjoyed her pay rise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Oh man, that's a fucking mess as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Again, that that was that was so big. So that's happened while we've been on the been on a little break, hasn't it? And and that yeah. was just a, again, as you know, I'm following it via social media, and I'm I'm reading that statement, and I'm thinking, this is not, this is not kayfabe. This is this is real. Mm. And, and the terminology and the use of the word belt um, belts instead of championships and things like that. And that was, again, very, very unprecedented new territory for WWE. Yeah. yeah. Very strange. And on, and again, I, I, sorry, Finn. I say on camera, on commentary, they were saying how unprofessional it was. That, yeah. Um, oh, I Sasha couldn't believe that. Yeah. And in, in their titles. Hmm. Like, she still oh. hasn't officially been released. I mean, obviously the rumor is that she has been she's released, and I would imagine yeah. she has. Yeah. Um, no, no talk she's about not on the website anymore, is she? Oh, is she not? Okay. Uh, no talk about Naomi. Either. She's been she's been removed. Yeah. No. Yeah. Nothing about Naomi. Just Sasha Banks is the only one being reported. I have to be honest. Couldn't care less. Um, I don't think she's that good anyway. Ooh, harsh words. Um, but I, you know, I think she's okay. <laughs> But the way the yeah. internet goes on about her, you think she was like the greatest technical wrestler, the the like the, the, the female inclination of Brian Danielson. <laughs> yeah, you know, I know, I know. That, that, yeah, I see what you put her before. on such a pedestal. It's weird. Like yeah. I just don't think she's as good as what the internet makes her out to be. And okay. that, you know, she she's got Star Wars stuff that she's doing now. Uh, because obviously she's in the Mandalorian and all that kind of thing. Um. I'm sure she could go to AEW and I'm sure she'll go there. Um, and I'm sure she'll do fine there. Yeah. I guess. But I don't know. It's it's a very weird situation. I'm not a big fan of her anyway, as I'm sure you can tell by the way I've just spoken about her. Her Stone Cold <laughs> session, uh, Broken School Sessions uh, podcast was the worst I've ever seen. Turned it off after li- about 10 minutes because she's not a likable person. <laughs> yeah. Awful. Yeah, but, it? Do you think mm. we'll see the women's tag team titles again, or do you think they're been scrapped altogether? I think we'll see them again, um, but I don't know. Actually, you know, I, I say that, but I don't know. Maybe the mm. NXT women's tag team titles are better than the main roster women's tag team titles. Yeah, that's better. Firstly, they have women who are tag teams. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We've got Toxic Tra- 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 Traction doing great work right now. NXT. Yeah, and you've got you've got um, Katana Chance and um, whatever a tag team partner's called, Caden Carter, um, no. and then you've got uh, Roxy and Cora Jade who are sort of challenging for them at the minute as well. Um, NXT is really good now, by the way. Yeah, it's, it obviously it's never going to hit the dizzying heights again of what we knew and loved about nxt yeah. but the talents there that they they're sort of nurturing themselves very very good big fan of tony d'angelo so good oh yeah love that character um but i don't uh, as far as the women's tag team titles go 
they were going to hold a tournament, weren't they? But I don't understand who you possibly have in a tournament. Yeah, the only tag team sort of no. tag team is um, a Do Drop and Nikki Ash A H A S H, whatever they called. Yeah, time to drop that gimmick as well. It sucks. Yeah, you turn the evil now, so I imagine you'll have to drop it eventually. Yeah, but other than that, um, I can't think of any other team. No, no, it's just Tamina and Natalia still a team. I don't. I don't know. I can tell you. I mean, they they brought them tag team titles in. Because of like, um, because of campaigns online and Sasha Banks and Bailey wanting them and all this sort of stuff, mm. but they, mm-hmm. they, they brought them in with very little thought behind it. Yeah, it's very strange. Yeah, I mean, not that WWE very really planned for the long term anyway. But <laughs> yeah, there was, there was just yeah. felt like there was no plan at all for the women's tag team titles, and it was just sort of dead on its ass before they even took off. I mean, it was obvious that. Sasha and Bailey were going to end up with the titles and all that sort of stuff, and the, the, there was no plan B. No. Yeah, because at least with tag team yeah, titles, cool. in terms of you know men's tag team titles, yeah, you, you, throughout the years you've you've always had established tag teams. Like even sort of going back to the WWF days, you had Demolition, Legion of Doom, Beverly Brothers, um, you know, just just to name a few. And you know, even now yeah. you've got you know you've got Viking Raiders, and you've that you know they're they're making actual tag teams with tag team names, but there's too much mm-hmm. sort of. I mean, how many tag team partners has Liv Morgan had recently? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you know it's, it's absolutely it's ridiculous. It's so shit, and it's not believable. <clears throat> and this thing with those you know, those. Go on, sorry. Go on. No, no, no. That's right. No, I was I was going to say that with those with those women's uh, the women's tag team titles that. The plan was they were going to be defended everywhere, everywhere. Uh, That's right, yeah. Um, you know, yeah. Raw SmackDown NXT. I think they were defended on NXT once, maybe twice. You know, they weren't. They, yeah. they weren't really. It wasn't really the case that they didn't do what they said they were going to do. Yeah, so, and now NXT have their own women's t- tag team title. Have their own, yeah. Which is yeah. better. Mm. But I don't know. Mm. It's very. It's a. It's a very strange title. It wouldn't surprise me if they quietly push it out the back door because, let's be honest, it's not really set the world on fire since coming in anyway. But, um, you know, you could do the same with the 24-7 title. Without anyone sort of crying over it, are they? Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's uh, Yeah, it's very, very strange. I mean, if you're going to do it, do it, but rebuild it. Like, do it properly. Actually get... There's enough female talent there where you could make a decent... Mm. Uh, tag team roster, but the problem is with the women's division in WWE, and this is a problem that AEW doesn't have, is that the actual women's rosters on both Raw and SmackDown are very thin, and that's why you always see the same people challenging for the singles titles. So to then pair people up and take them out of the singles division, you can't really do it because you you just can't. No. Yeah. So you either have I mean, not, you have one women's many, singles uh... title and have mm. that travel across all brands, well, both brands, not NXT. Let that be separate. Then you have women's tag team titles and you make use of all the women that you've got employed and you, you do it that way. So I mean, that, if you're going to unify the men's titles and have a universal champion, um, it probably doesn't last forever that though, to be fair. But if you're going to do that and you're going to have the universal champion be as be one, then you do that with the women as well. You have two mid cards, the IC title and the US title. Um, one women's championship, one women's tag team championship, one men's tag team championship, and then um, the women's tag team titles as well. Yeah, yeah. would be the Just better me. way to do it. Yeah, too many belts. Yeah. <laughs> AEW is yeah. going to have this problem as well. I like the idea of the All Atlantic yeah, Championship yeah. and the TNT title has already been ruined for me, but um, they will introduce trios tag team titles eventually. And this, they, again, it's just oversaturating the um, the championships there, but it is what it is. But otherwise, wrestling is in a good place at the minute. There's a lot of good stuff happening. Yeah. AEW is good despite all yeah. the injuries. Um, yeah, there's but, injuries yeah. across the board. Yeah, got CM Punk's down, Brian's gone to mojo's uh injured um yeah kyle o'reilly yes wow kenny omega still yeah and the so, as well have got cody out randy orton's back snackered um 
Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 so despite being a healthy place, it's also a very injured place. But Impact are going very yeah. strong at the minute. Yeah. Doing some really good stuff. Mm-hmm. They've just celebrated 20 years. So congratulations to them. That's great. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of good stuff going on at the minute. But um, yeah, I think we've probably... Probably ran out of time. Not ran out of time, but you know what I mean. I think we've uh, talked about everything that we could talk about this week. Yeah. What do you think of uh, Judgment Day, by the way? Um, I like it. I like the idea of it. I don't think they should have got rid of Edge. Yeah, I agree. I think getting rid of Edge so soon is very strange. I think well, them... have Finn Balor yeah. in there. Yeah, exactly. Let's you can even make the Judgment Day. You can even have you can have Damian Priest and Finn Balor as a tag team. Yeah. And then you can have Rhea Ripley yep. sort of going after the women's title, and you can have um, like make them real powerful, you know? Like you can make Edge, the, you can have them dominate. Yeah, I'm a big fan awesome. of factions dominating. I like have Damian Priest and Finn Balor as the tag t- champions, Rhea Ripley as the women's champion, Edge as the Raw World Heavyweight Champion, or whatever. Yeah, they were awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm glad that Finn Balor's there and he's finally turned heel on the main roster, which is cool. Um, the only problem right now is Rhea Ripley is injured. <laughs> <laughs> That's another yeah. injury. Um, did you see how she got injured, by the way? Uh, yes. She got needed in the face by herself. Yeah. <laughs> Out. Good, good, good way to get injured. <laughs> yeah. Crazy, laugh, but... laugh, but... What's she done? Broke, broke her nose or something? Or is she? Uh, I think she knocked her teeth in. I think she's hurt her head. I think, yeah, I think, I think she's or... damaged. Um, she's, she's done some damage anyway. because She was supposed to be in Money in the Bank, and now she's not. Uh, yeah, just... Changing uh, Bianca Belair, but like, wouldn't she? Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's it. Um, um, she wasn't going to be in Money in the Bank, was she? She was going to be in the title match. Is that right? Yeah. No, no. She yeah, was going to be in the Money in the Bank match. And there was a triple no. threat match. Uh, no, so Rhea Ripley was going to challenge uh, Bianca Belair. That's been she's obviously injured. She can't do that. And now it's Carmella for some reason challenging Bianca Belair. Sure, yeah. I guess, great. I guess because every other woman's in the Money in the Bank match. So they needed someone else. Oh. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, so that's weird. But, but I like the I like the idea of the judgment day. I like the idea of Edge versus Finn Balor potentially at SummerSlam. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, that'd be really cool. Like Demon Finn Balor mm-hmm. versus Brood Edge. Give us that, yeah. Oh yeah. That'd oh. Be sweet. Inject that. that. Uh, speaking of the Brood, Christian is fucking awesome at the minute. Holy oh, shit, yeah. man! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, He's so good as a heel. Such yeah. a such a great heel and it just generates unbelievable heat. Um I've not watched Dynamite mm. this week yet, but I've heard that Christian's segment was just real fire. So look forward to uh, checking that out for sure. Definitely. Yeah. Um but yeah. Anyone else got anything that they wanna wanna bring up? No, no, all good. Good episode. All good. Well, this has been a good first episode back, hasn't it? Yeah, really good. Yeah, really, really enjoyable. good. So we're good. We're going to do this once a month. Um, get together and just sort of do what we do is games and graps. Um, Finn's going to be doing some streaming stuff soon. Finn, where where about you stream? Uh, it's twitch.tv slash finsteel eighty eight. It might change. Yeah, we'll see. Cool. Um, my I'm going to do some retro wrestling game streaming next week. Twitch.tv forward slash Sunny G Clubhouse. Nice. And Steve, you're sort of working out what you're going to do for yourself at some. Yeah, yeah. Watch this space. Well, yeah, we'll keep you up to date with all that. Um, yeah. Check out the Clubhouse podcast with me uh, every week, um, just on all major podcast services. Uh, might even throw it on the Games and Grats feed as well, just so, just in case people are interested in that there. Um, but yeah, otherwise, and that's pretty much it, guys. Cool. So yeah, this has been the Games and Graps podcast. We are a monthly video game and wrestling podcast that posts across all podcast services everywhere. 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 And youtube.com forward slash games graps. Uh, check us out on all the social medias and all that sort of stuff. My name is Sonny G. We'll see you next time. I've been with Finn Steele and Steve. Thank you very much. See Goodbye. Laters. Bye. Goodbye.
when I go in a couple of weeks, I will masturbate. 